And we are back with another flashlight review. And today, I, I mean, I'm always super excited about these, but I'm pretty excited about this one. <laughs> so uh, today we have the Raylight Pineapple Mini in copper. Let's get into it. All right, I am pumped for this one. So for anybody who follows me, you probably have seen that I picked up the Raylite Pineapple. I love this thing. And uh, you know, for scientific reasons, I needed to have the Raylite Pineapple Mini in copper, of course, because how can I compare them if they're not the, uh, you know, the same metal science, right? <laughs> so real quick, uh, this picked this up on County Com came with another one of the chargers. The Raylite Pineapple also came with one. I'm, I'm not using either one of these currently, um, just because I have a bigger charger that charges more than one battery at a time. Um, not a complaint, just that's, that's what I prefer at the current present time. Also came with this little guy right here, which is a sticker. I love stickers. And um, came with a little card that's got a coupon code. I'm not going to show it off because I plan to use it. So uh, normally I would just throw it up here and say, hey, whoever wants to use it, uses it. But I I need my coupon codes. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, let's let's get into this guy. I'm, I'm so stoked about this. This came in like a day ago and uh, uh, it's it's tough having to wait to record, man. It, it really is. So, a couple extra O-rings. We all know I love that. And you get your nice little Raylite sticker. So, sweet deal. I've got stickers plastered all, plastered all over, like, everything that I own. And by everything I own, I mean everything in the studio. Because if I did that in my actual house, my wife would probably kill me. So, here he is. Here is your Raylite Pineapple Mini. And, like I said, picked it up on County Com. Uh, I need something to open this with. Uh, picked it up on County Com. I want to say it's like 50 bucks. If you go over there and you sign up for an account, I, I think you get 10% off your first order. Um, I, I, I think I got it. Yeah, you know, you know what? You know what happened with this? I put it in my cart because I was just debating. I was like, do I really... And then um, as it was sitting in my cart, like an hour later, I got an email from County Com that was like, hey, did you forget this? Here's 10% off to buy it now. And I said, oh, okay, okay, you don't gotta pull my leg. So I bought it. <laughs> All right, so let's let's do the normal thing here. Let's do the measurements before I get in, turning this thing on because that's, that's about right where I went. Um, so we are right at three and a half inches. And we will do a couple of size comparisons. So here is your baton three. And then we will do the I3T. There you go. So very, very close to an I3T. Um, I'll pull it up an I5T. No mercy, if you watch this video, you missed out, bud. <laughs> oh man. I, uh, I got a message from him the other day saying he wishes he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have skipped over that uh that periwinkle. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the Warrior Mini. You can see the Warrior Mini much 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 bigger, and um, we will throw up the Baton Three Pro Max because you know why not for in the name of science. <laughs> All right, so then the one comparison that really kind of matters the most. So here is the Raylight Pineapple. So that if you own one, you can kind of see the difference between the two. And here you go, clip size. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm not, I almost said impressed. Impressed isn't the word. Um, I, I didn't think the clips would be so different, uh, you know. But I do, I do like the clip on this. is definitely a very, a very deep carry clip, so that's cool. I like how that, I like how that's made. Um, we'll go over some beam shots. I plan to do some beam shots in this video. 
exciting, right? Um, and I'll bring I'll bring this out too, so we can compare the two. Um, but we'll do some we'll do some actual beam shots of this this time around. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of a close up, so we can take a look. There we go. Oh man, this thing looks so good. Um, here's your tail switch, and it does have a spot for a tritium vial. Pretty stoked about that. Lens. There we go. You can see that it's coated. And one other Neato Factorino. If we do this, I'll do it for just a second. There we go. You can see, well, maybe maybe you can't see, but I can see. Ah, well, it's got a glow in a dark O-ring, just like the uh, just like the normal Ray Light Pineapple has. So let's uh let's let's open it up i'm super super stoked um so back to the i almost took the tail cap off i didn't mean to do that um so back to the county com uh 50 bucks it does come with the charger let me tighten this down it does come with the charger and they do offer all kinds of discounts kind of like you know get that little potato chip out of there um kind of like olight I have an Olight discount code if you haven't seen it in any of the other videos yet. <laughs> so, sorry, excited. Um, so you can get discount codes for County Com and 1040 or 1000. Blah, blah, blah. 10440 battery. God, words. It's been a long work day and I got tired of looking at this thing on the shelf. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to record anyways just because I'm ready to get this thing open. <clears throat> so it does come with the little charger comes with the battery and um, 50 bucks on their website plus shipping unless you spend over a hundred dollars then you get free shipping so um, yeah definitely go pick one up they're awesome <laughs> I haven't even turned it on yet and I can just say it's awesome uh, so size wise let's I, I realized I didn't didn't get a weight on this so let's see weight is 2.2 ounces and if we go to the Raylite pineapple 4.2 so yeah considerably smaller than the standard Raylite um, which is cool because it does have a max output of 500 lumens and you can use just a normal AAA battery uh, when you do that your max output is 125 lumens and this particular model does have the Nisha 219B which is a uh, 4500K light um, high CRI. So I've been, I've been really, really enjoying the high CRIs lately. It's just, just become a preference of mine. So turn her on, and you get your, you get your click. So just click on, click off, and then um, if I click and hold, well maybe. There we go. Okay. Sorry, I don't know why I thought click and hold. I just ordered a bunch of stuff on Olight, so I was thinking click and hold. I forgot already when you turn these guys on, there's your low, and then you momentary press to get through all your modes. So there you go. So from factory, you have moonlight, um, two, 20, 100, and back to moonlight. And if we turn on this guy, See, he's turned on. He's working. There we go. Try to get through all my modes here. And now we're at the flash. <laughs> SOS. So, um, it should be at standard. It is. I think it is. So, here you go. You can see the beam difference. This thing is definitely way different. Also, a lot warmer, which is pretty cool. I like that. Um, bring her, bring her back down. Uh, I don't know what the easier way to do this would be. There you go. So there, there's a little bit of a beam difference as far as just like on my board here. Um, so if we, this, the button on this feels way different. I know, and I know someone's going to be like, that's the same button. It, it feels different, um, but my hand's getting getting used to it. Um, so with this, you do have the ability to program, just like you do on the Raylight Pineapple. 
and you know I'm gonna give a strobe warning um, so whenever you do the programming you press the button eight times and then it'll blink and then strobe and then blink twice then strobe then blink three times and strobe etc and when it does that you can choose your mode so from factory moonlight 2% 20% 100% so if we um, well maybe not is that SOS maybe not um, so maybe that was just um, momentary it's it's kind of the instructions are kind of weird uh, oh, I'm turn turning off my heater God, the studio gets cold okay and now it's now it's hot so um, the instructions are kind of weird it just says press button eight times it doesn't say whether or not to turn it on do momentary you would think I remember because I have the other pineapple but I gosh I, I go through so many lights that I, I don't I, I forget so I'm sorry um, so one two three four five six seven eight but that turns it off so I'm assuming it's once it's on momentary two three four five six seven eight and still didn't do it so um, anyways I'll play around with that so I want to leave it on the standard version anyways just because that's what we're gonna test it with um, so at the second blink you can do moonlight 10 percent 40 100 third blink is moonlight 2%, 10%, 50%, and the fourth blink is Moonlight 50, 100, Strobe, and SOS. So, um, yeah, I must have been on the blink sequence and I just wasn't paying attention uh, because the standard mode does not have SOS. Now, um, one thing I will say that I like a lot about this so far is you can see it's kind of the same pattern here on the side, um, the same milling, but uh, this because they're so much closer and if we go down here you can see it's not it's not super deep like I can fit my fingernail in there but it easily comes off um, but since they're so close together it definitely feels more aggressive and I like that um, now just because of size obviously I do I prefer bigger lights we all know that but I do actually like the way this feels and it, it kind of feels like a pen. Like I feel like I should be writing with it. It just, <laughs> that's, that's just kind of the way it feels. Um, so like I said, you can also use a AAA in this guy and that will kind of hinder your max output. Um, but just for scientific reasons, we're gonna use this cheap Chinese battery that Olight sends and it must be the one I have that's dead that I tried to use in another video so um, wait did I put this one upside down or am I just am I just being dumb it's gonna say I threw that other battery away I know it's not that battery uh, okay <laughs> put it in upside down you know so there you go there's your max output um, whenever it is using just a standard triple a uh, went right over it there we go and we can see beam distance this this ray light will the pineapple will just wash out the mini um, but I am a fan I do I do like this mini a lot actually and uh, I don't need anybody asking how many copper flashlights I have I have a lot I have a lot of copper stuff um, I actually just ordered a little well, actually I said you ordered I already got it in <laughs> I love I love Amazon um, I just got a little uh, a new fifth pocket backup knife a uh, little spoiler alert <laughs> so I'm excited to get into that thing uh, definitely gonna have to do a small video on that super excited to check it out um, but this is your Raylight pineapple and um, I'm going to probably just roll in some shots of me shoot, uh, just like some outside shots, beam shots of this, and then that'll be the end of the video. Uh, so yes, I like it. I recommend it. I will put a link in the description below.
uh, where you can find this on County Com. County Com is great if you've never ordered from them before. I get all my stuff within a few days. I've never had an issue with anything I've gotten in. Um, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And uh, I'm pretty new to ordering from County Com. So there you go. That's an unbiased opinion. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. I post as much as I can. I will catch you on the next one. Roll the beam shots. All right, so I've got a couple different flashlights here. Um, first one being the Raylite Mini Pineapple, or Pineapple Mini, I guess I should say. So this is going to be your Pineapple Mini, and we're going to start off on Moonlight. Now, where I have the camera positioned, we are roughly 35 yards from the fence over there. And this is the Pineapple Mini on the Moonlight mode. So you can see it actually has a little bit of a distance, um, but right in front of you is where you'd want to use this. If you can see what that's picking up, that's, that's actually not too bad. So if I switch it to next mode, and like I said, this is just factory mode. I haven't changed anything. So this is gonna be in um, basically low. And then we'll go, Oops, uh, cycle back through. So medium or low, I guess. And then medium. And you can, you can kind of see my fence out there. This is a really broad, it doesn't really have a hot spot, which is kind of cool. This is more of a spotlight. So then we'll go to high and still not much of a spotlight or not much of a, a hot spot so there we go and then we are back to moonlight so if i turn this up to high again we'll go ahead and pull out the raylight pineapple and i'm going to use these two for comparison so here's your pineapple and this is on moonlight and the first thing you'll notice is the pineapple definitely has more of a hot spot and there we go so here's your pineapple and then we're on medium and you can see here we can get i don't know if, how good the camera's picking it up but this is getting out to the um to the fence i can see it myself and then if we go to high there we go so this is actually shining really well. I don't want to aim it too high up. I do live in a neighborhood, so uh, I'm not trying to <laughs> light people's houses up. <laughs> My backyard, we've got to that fence, like I said, we've got about 35 yards. So this is your Raylite pineapple line. And here we can see we'll shine them both together. So. You've got your mini on the left side, and then you've got your uh, your standard size on the right, the one I'm shaking and strobing around. So this, the pineapple will easily wash out the mini, but uh, you know, it really just depends on what you're gonna use it for. Now, if I switch off the pineapple, one of the other lights I brought out here was I've got this little guy. <laughs> And yeah, there's there's the difference here. Here is the Warrior Mini on high in comparison to the Raylite Pineapple. There you go. <laughs> and then if I put it on turbo, the Warrior Mini on turbo is, it's, it's a beast. <laughs> That's why I like this light so much. Um, this thing, this thing just lights up the night sky. There you go. And so to show off something else that is pretty cool about the pineapple line that I couldn't really do a whole lot on camera. So here is your Raylite pineapple. And there you go. There's your glow ring. And on the mini, since this video is mainly focused on the mini, here is our glow ring on the mini. The glow ring on the mini is definitely a whole lot better than on the standard pineapple. So I really dig that. There we go. Yeah, this thing, 
you know, it doesn't look as br like it looks it looks relatively bright on camera, but uh on in in person, it's definitely a whole lot brighter. Um I appreciate it a whole lot more now that I actually have it out here and you know, doing some beam shots with it. So uh yeah, I dig it. And hopefully the audio is coming in good. Um, just, this is my first time testing out these lapel mics that I picked up. So you'll have to let me know how the audio is. I'll definitely look it over while I'm editing and see what I think. But, uh, so far so good. So hopefully the audio is good and not junk because that would, that would ruin the video. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. So thanks for checking it out, y'all. I'll catch you on the next one.